Hey homeschool friends, welcome back to the channel. So you guys, I've been waiting to use this curriculum specifically for about five years. And that is the Novari curriculum. And this science company in particular has middle school and high school science programs. They are mastery based. And so there is a lot of review and there's a lot of utilizing math and things like that. So you have to kind of pick your program based on your math, but also they have an old earth perspective when it comes to science. So it is definitely a Christian-based homeschool science program. And so I haven't actually started this program yet. So this is not a review video. I plan on doing that though. I want to do a review video because there aren't that many videos on YouTube that have to do with this program. But this video today will be more of a resource flip through as well as kind of my first thoughts of life science. And I will be using it with my sixth grader. He will be 11 and a half come fall when we actually start the program. So if you are at all curious about this program, stay tuned and we're gonna deep dive. I wanna show you all the things and chat through my thoughts on Novari Science. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel or welcome back all the things. You guys, like I said, I've been looking forward to using this program for a long time. I am a scientist. I love science. I have a PhD in science. I view elementary years as more exposure and delight. But as we're working our way into middle school, I wanted a bit more meaty of a program, like thorough program. And I feel like Novari is going to give me that, but I always hold things loosely in case this won't work. But I'm really excited and I want to share it all with you. So my plan is to start by flipping through some of the resources. I have a couple of hard copies of things, but then I want to show you also a few examples or samples of some of the digital products that come with this program because there's a lot. And I feel like it'll help you get kind of a bigger, broader picture of the program. And then I also want to go through my lab kit, which I ordered through Home Science Tools. So, so many things to share, but I better flip the camera around because I feel like this might be a bit of a long video. All right, so I flipped the camera around and I have a few things to show you. The main things are the textbook here, Life Science, as well as the Prentice's Companion for Life Science, and some of the digital resources. And then I will follow that by bringing all of the things from the lab kit and kind of going through that. So let's just start with the basics, shall we? Like I said, Life Science by Novari Classical Academic Press. Here's the table of contents. A couple things to just note. I'll go through some of the main topics here, like. The first chapter is covering the topic of what is life science, from molecules to cells, the human body, and so it goes through human body in the matter and energy flow, information processing ecosystems, matter and energy transfer, ecosystem and dynamics, biodiversity and ecosystems, evolutionary theory. So this is one of the areas that drew me to Navari is how they discuss topics like evolution and then variation, natural selection, and adaptation. So those are the topics. And then it goes a bit into some instructions for the teachers, for the students. And obviously I don't wanna take you through too much of this. I do want to make mention of kind of the big pillars or core principles of Novari, which is wonder, integration, mastery, and kingdom perspective. So some of those are big buzzwords for me, the first being wonder really making nature come alive, and then integration, the ability to integrate it into other subjects, which is very important in science in general. You cannot learn science in a box. Like you can't learn one discipline without another, especially when it comes to the life sciences. There's lots of chemistry, there's lots of math, there's lots of environmental science, things like that, that play a big part in understanding this subject thoroughly. And then mastery, okay. You will get a better feel of how this is a mastery program once I bring in a lot of the extra resources and how this program is organized. So come back to that idea. And then the last is a kingdom perspective. And that is the idea that this is a Christian program. See like wonder, integration, mastery. A lot of that is explained in here. How the authors and creators of this program really have a heart for seeing like God's creative presence in the world. So I just wanted to make a quick note of that because I feel like it makes Novari very unique. So let me just dive into chapter one. The intention of this program is that the child is reading this. Obviously you homeschool, you can kind of do what's best for your family, but let me just show you 
how this is set up. So there's always a little intro, objectives for the chapter, and vocabulary terms. Now we'll come back to these because they're central to how your student is going to study for this program. And then it has like different sections, like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 .1, which comes into place when I show you the schedule. But so for instance, they would read potentially all of that. And then 1.2 is just that. So maybe there'll be two sections assigned, but you can see it's pretty stripped down, if you will. It is a lot of text, but it also has important pictures and some case studies. So we'll just keep flipping through this one to get you to really that first chapter. And then when I go through the schedule, it'll help us kind of see how long is the expectation for this. And so then it gets to chapter one exercises before chapter two. So that is chapter one. So keep that in mind and then I will start to bring out some schedules and some of the digital content that'll help us understand how to use this. All right, so I pulled out a few extra resources that you can peruse once you get your digital download. The first being kind of a hypothetical schedule that has to do with like a start date on August 23rd, an end date, May 26th. So it definitely has the feeling of an in-person class. This program is used in the classroom, but yet I do really feel like it can be adapted to the homeschooler. And this is helpful in the sense of how fast you need to move in order to finish by the end of the year. And then even more detailed is this, but it is actually quite fantastic. So I'm just gonna kind of take you through a little bit of the top here in that chapter one that I already showed you. And so this will be the lesson number, which you can see over here. So lesson number seven is scheduled for September 1st. Obviously do what you want on the schedule, but number seven here is the topic that the child will be reading about is scientific method. And that will be section 1.4 with learning checks 1.4. And so you can see in here, learning checks 1.4 are these five questions. So they're reading this and answering questions, and that's their assignment for the day. And so it's very well organized. Then it also does make note of important things like when are the quizzes, and if then, if they do take their quiz, do they have other things to read? And in this case, yes, they do. And sometimes there's a quiz plus an activity. And so for the activities, that is where this book comes into play. So let me show you this because it's a really pretty cool book. It's almost like a lab book slash commonplace book, which is just really kind of neat. And so it obviously is something that the student will read through some of the introduction stuff, talk about observation and sketching, since this is definitely a life science course. So we're going to be looking at some things. And then it has like activity one. So this is the labs and it'll have things like objective skills and then it'll have what's required. Some of these things were not in the kit, like popcorn kernels, paper towels, and things like that. So obviously there's some stuff that you are required to get. The lab kit that I'm gonna show you shortly has more of the like glassware and chemicals that you will need that are just difficult to source yourself. And now it goes through the scientific method with like hypothesis, testing, sketching, experimental data and it finishes out like that so that's the first activity where it looks like they're working on seed sprouting that activity is assigned it's assigned for a whole day right here and you can see here it gives you notes that activities are in the companion of life sciences okay so that's pretty straightforward and you can see when the activities show up oftentimes it's on quiz days so let's get into quizzes it is very quiz heavy because it's mastery and it's designed so the students are continually learning in a cumulative style. So for instance, it says like, here's weekly reading review number one. This is when they get their first weekly reading review, which these are basically review guides that help the student prepare for any tests and quizzes. Obviously you're a homeschooler, you don't have to do all the tests and quizzes, but I feel like to stay true to the design of this program, the tests and quizzes really help form the mastery because it is explained, and especially I think it's weekly reading guide number one, it explains how the students are supposed to make flashcards. They're making flashcards of all of the different objectives and vocabulary terms with the idea that it could come back up on one of the quizzes. So here's an example of a quiz. So I printed one off, this is quiz one, to specifically make note of the fact that this is short answer. 
which for sixth grade, I mean, that's a pretty high bar, but I think it's just really how you use it. And so they're able to write their responses and different things like that. I did want to show you another quiz. So this is quiz 26. So this is like three quarters of the way through the year. The important part is it covers some of the things that they're recently doing. So this is talking about ecosystems, biome types, and then it hops back to describe how the human brain is organized. So this was from a previous chapter. And so a lot of times in these guides, they'll be like, make sure you review previous objectives, previous vocabulary, keep it all fresh. So every week they're doing like baby steps to continually learn and form those like longer term memories on some of this information to just really avoid that cram, test, dump, repeat sort of problem that can happen with learning. Okay, so like I said, there's quizzes, there's also semester exams, and on your digital download, there's also all the answer keys. So please don't feel like you have to fill this out yourself. There is definitely help for you, but additionally, in the beginning of this book in the teacher section, it very much encourages you to be in discussion with your child, especially if they are not utilizing this program in say like a co-op or a group of some sort that will help their learning, you as a parent need to be a little bit more involved. So I showed you the companion guide. It gets there's lots of different cool experiments. And there are some like digital things to download and cut out that are used for kind of manipulatives to help with the lab experiments. I'm really excited obviously for it. I'm also really excited for the lab kit. Okay, so like I said, I ordered the lab kit from Home Science Tools, which honestly is amazing. I'm so thankful for resources like this because there's a lot of things that would be harder to source myself, right? And the scientist in me loves beakers. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of a science nerd like that. And if you take kind of just a visual scope of everything, you really see that this is about life science. Even our little books here where we're gonna be doing a lot of exploring insects, trees, wildflowers. So clearly we're gonna be collecting some things and I believe, not 100%, but that's what these are for. They're like collection jars. There's five of those, five collection jars. And then there is this insect killing jar, which is very interesting. Like I said, lots of beakers, lots of droppers and bottles. So I'm not sure if we're making up solutions because we do have some chemicals. So this is another place in this program that I feel the meatiness of the program because this is legit carbon cupric sulfate and this one is a sulfur in its own little package so everything is sent to you very safe and this may intimidate somebody to have kind of all of these chemicals and all these beakers and things but i think it will really improve the experience of science in middle school so some things like brine shrimp eggs miscellaneous stuff all the stuff over here is a lot of safety things so they do have more gloves than just that but there's tubing and aprons. And this thing here on the bottom, I believe is like a butterfly catcher or bug catcher of some sort. So all of this stuff is included in the kit. What you will also notice, please notice this, is very reusable. I was just like looking at what we had here and only a few things I feel like we would need to get more of for my second child or my third and fourth child. Gloves are the big one, but everything else is washable. I doubt we'll run out of the chemicals. So I love that. It's like a one-time investment. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but to me, this kind of stuff is worth it. It's worth it to make science really come alive and be more understandable. So this was kind of the last thing I wanted to show you in this flip through. So let me just flip the camera back around and I'll give you some concluding thoughts. All right, so I realized that was a lot. And I also realized that I don't completely have a handle on how the program is. So I 100% intend to do a like update video on this program, maybe a midway through the semester, how it's going, because there are some aspects to this program that make me a little bit nervous. Now, some of those things are also the things that make me really excited, like the potential for learning. I feel like following this program with the way the quizzes and the cumulative nature, the mastery nature of it, is really exciting, but it feels like it could be too much. And then the lab, I'm not quite sure either. Is that too much? Do we have the time to do all of this exploration? I'm just not sure. I need to experience the program a bit, but overall it's gonna be a really big hit. I do have some things I need to organize here in the next couple months and summertime to be ready for next fall. One of those things I want to try and do, 
and I will share if I get this off the ground and it's in a good spot. I want to investigate using Google Classroom because I could set up a Google Class and it could be something that's just for my son, right? Like I just share it with him, but it's something that he could log on to and see the assignment for the day. Also, if we find any videos, because I feel like what could really enhance the learning here is a lot of videos from like YouTube or wherever that could really help with the learning. And honestly, I feel like that's a good place to like upload these documents, like this kind of stuff, or even the quizzes potentially is I could upload them on there and he could just type out his answers. See, I'm still working through some of this for sure. And so it's a work in progress and I will be sharing as I go. And so I do hope I covered everything. I hope I made it clear how the program is organized. If not, please ask your questions down below because I might have just stated it incorrectly or I could have stated it better and I could explain myself in the comments. So just ask your questions because I do know that there are not very many videos on this program. And this program, the life science program is their newest program and it is geared for sixth grade. Then they have a seventh and eighth grade. And then they have like an accelerated track and a normal track when it gets into high school because it has more to do with math. So where your child lands in the math world will kind of deem which way they go on some of those courses. And so I really hope Novari works for our family for so many reasons. And I think maybe the biggest one I haven't talked as much about on here, but it is the old earth perspective. It's the ability to see how God created the world in light of some of the scientific findings and to not have those be combative, but complementary. And I've always felt that way. And getting my PhD in science is actually what led me to faith. And so I feel like they go together. And I hate the fact that that is such a touchy, controversial subject within the Christian world, but especially within the homeschool science curriculum world. And so it is what it is. That's where I land. And I know a number of you do too. And I know a number of you don't. And that is very much okay as well. So that's what I have for this flip through video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you are interested in this program. Let me know down below if you are. And otherwise, if you have nothing you necessarily wanna say, but you made it to the end of this video, which kudos to you, is maybe put a frog emoji and just let me know you're here. I always love seeing the emojis because then I know you guys are watching the videos and that they are useful to you. So that's it. That's all I have. I hope you are well. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next homeschool video. All right guys, take care.